Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob and welcome back to another episode full of fun and games and whatever we can dream up <laughs> here on Black Farm. Uh, this is our series on Black Farm and the first time we are trying the, the Seasons mod, you know. So yes, for, for me it's uh, quite a big uh, new experience. So hopefully you will come and enjoy it with me. And yes, comment as you like and uh, yeah, just enjoy the time together guys. That's what videos on YouTube is all about. <laughs> so take care and thank you for joining and let's get stuck in immediately. Alright, excellent. Well guys, here we are. It's the next day and... Um, Obviously, first things first is the chores for the day. Uh, let's just get uh, a look. Yeah, we can start harvesting today. Um, our canola can go. The wheat can go. Um, that's it. Canola and wheat is what we can be harvesting today. And then, obviously, first of all, the chores. We need to check the, the um, cows. Wonderful. Look at that. Our cows is starting to reproduce. So by tomorrow, we will in tomorrow we will have another cow which is awesome uh, we've got some liquid manure there is some manure and there is some milk in the tank already so yes what do we need first of all um, everything is still is still looking okay um, but yeah I think we can we can top up a few things cleansiness I'm in two minds about these but anyways Yes, guys, as I was saying, uh, yeah, I think let's start with the cleaning up. Um, I'm not going to bore you too much with the with the chores. So what I will do is obviously jump cut this um, or just time compress it. It will be better. Well guys, that is all the manure done. Now we can quickly jump and uh, check our water. We need to do water. And here's our water tanker. That obviously is the next job for Farmer Bob. Cows were surely thirsty. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Just look at our beans, guys. They are so nice and so beautiful. Good stuff. What's that? Cabbages. Also looking nice. Um, yes, guys, what I've done is I've tried um, I've tried another mod with that concrete roller um, for interest's sake, you know, and um, I've made that little road, obviously, and that one in the back, and both of them came out all right. Um, obviously, the grass is growing over them. So, yeah, um, but the game hasn't given problems, so I think, first of all, it's probably not uh, the roller's fault. It was definitely the course plate problems, you know. So, yes, so that is all that being done. Now we just need grass and some power food. And everything will be fine. Grass and power food. That we can easily arrange. Just want to quickly get that all floated. And let us do it, guys. Um, some grass and power food. I feel like uh, taking the feel like taking the um, 
Unimog for a drive. It is time for the Unimog to 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 earn its keep, you know. <laughs> we can't just be tractoring all all game long. So let us get the Unimog going. Excellent. I quite like this Unimog. Quite a nice vehicle. And obviously, uh, let's go in here. What is it? Z? Yes. So the first thing is cross, of which we've got plenty, 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 plenty. Total mix ration, pig food, straw, sugar beet, potatoes, of grass. We've got grass and hay, but there's a lot of grass, so let's take the grass to the cows. 10,000 liters of grass coming up. Let's go and see how hungry they are. will be interesting to see guys and these are 35 cows we already we already doing very well guys animal wise um, land wise but remember we started with quite a um, injection of money coming over from our previous farm so it wasn't so difficult to get started on this map um, because we already had some money you know guys um, just want to see what is our tip side is the left we should just change that to the right uh, you there you go there's our thingamabobby it's tipping nicely Oh yes, they didn't. They weren't too hungry. And now power food. So let us go and get some power food, guys. Now the power food normally makes me a bit anxious, you know, because um, power food is expensive. I suppose it's not really that bad because the cows pay for themselves, you know. Um, think of it. We, um, we get. We, we, we made twelve thousand uh, dollars last night and uh, I think our power food bill I don't think it will be more than two thousand dollars you know so we still make loads and loads of profit I just went past the trigger <laughs> to offload the grass <laughs> okay forgive me guys I'm almost there right like that I love these storage facilities, they are awesome. And even this one that we've got here, where we can buy from, uh, where we can buy food in, it's also very nice. I mean, any farm has got the silo where they can buy stuff, you know. I wonder if we're underneath it. Yes, we are. We please, we need some uh, power food total mix ration there it is how much was that eight hundred eighty dollars so oh, we can make fill it up why not whatever's left over we're not gonna waste it the cows is gonna eat it so so yep yep here we go I don't know why I'm looking for traffic on this road because there isn't any traffic on this road. <laughs> There's never traffic on this road. You guys, we need to bring that little uh, lawnmower out and cut all the sides and stuff. There's a lot of, um, quite a lot of unwanted grass growing here on the sides of the road but yeah I suppose um, that's where where all the winter work comes in 
But you know, one bad thing with grass is if you leave it and it makes seeds, then you've got a problem because then it, it actually uh, reproduces. Ah, and that's a nasty thing, eh? When they start reproducing. So that's a thousand dollars there. So it's not really that much, guys. And it's probably going to take the whole lot. Yep, it sure did. So we're going to actually have to uh, maybe get another load. So that's two two thousand dollars, as I thought. Um, I just didn't know it's such a large volume, you know, because this thing takes ten thousand liters. So yeah, let's give them another load. That should be more than enough. Nice that we can go and buy buy some goodies here by our store. I better look outside guys because I can't see if I'm aligned. Oh I'm way too far. No wonder I can't get there. That's a little bit better. Okay, so let's start. Let's see how much a full load is. Yeah, one two. $1,200 so the previous load was $1,200 and this one is one so it's $2,400 of food but they give it back to us in milk guys plenty 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 It's much simpler buying total mix ration than to go and make it, you know. Um, although if you've got the, the mixing um, the mixing station, we will definitely aim for that in future, to buy a mixing station and then uh, mix our own TMR. At the end of the day, it's better doing your own thing. Let's see how much they take. Almost looks like they're going to take the whole load, but yeah, there you go. So it's about 3,300, that's a third that's left, exactly a third, look at that, exactly a third that's left. So a third of 1,200 is uh, $400. So yeah, it's exactly two grand a day, guys, by the looks of it, for 35 cows. And uh, yeah, that's not too bad. So now we just store our TMR in here. What I'm not too sure of guys, I just don't know how that other storage work. But um, let's not worry about that now. Once we start harvesting we're going to definitely figure it out. I actually don't know what that storage is there by the farm. I know we've got large storage there by the big farm. Opposite the big farm is the actual big storage facility that we can use. So we're going to probably have to put all our crops in there because those um, silos there makes total sense, you know. So we will be um, hopefully putting our crops in there. Right, so that is all the boring work done. That's our chores for the day. Um, and then what I want to check now. Oh, look, we, we actually made some money, guys, um, overnight. Our 
money went up a bit and uh, let's have a look Alt S so we can start harvesting uh, wheat, barley and canola which means that field number um, field number we are still far from ready to harvest guys it's still growing man <laughs> Although field 10 and 3 and 6 um, is close. Yes guys, I was just looking now at our, our crops and everything. Um, yeah, one thing that I've realized on another map that I was playing, uh, which I never really realized, is that canola, you could uh, do two crops a year in canola. If you plant and you harvest here in this first two days, or in first three days I, I would say and then you plant again there might just be enough time to harvest again so it's possible the other crops uh, you're not gonna make it but canola looks like <laughs> I'm gonna give it a try guys <laughs> to see if we we can do two crops of canola per year you know which will be awesome if we can do that so the idea is to 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 harvest and then immediately plant on that day there uh, that's day five the start of day five and then you've got two three days to actually um, have it growing which should should be enough and then yeah hopefully it will work out <laughs> so yeah that will be interesting it's going to be definitely very interesting uh, what I wanted to check is um, yeah we've got nothing ready for harvest they are um, our 6, 3 and 10 is close, 6 is uh, wheat and 3 is wheat and 10 is canola. So yeah, that the canola is not going to matter because we not, won't be able to, to harvest that. But the rest of us, uh, our things is only being harvested later on in the year. You know, like for instance the, the su sunflowers is there and the soybeans is there sunflower soybeans and corn corn is the last that we can harvest is corn all right excellent guys so yeah what to do what to do let me think a bit oh well, guys uh, yeah i've uh, just now suddenly realized that none of these uh, grasses on the farm is mowable so that is actually very sad you know so I would really have loved to mow these things. Um, uh, none of them are actually... Is this thing lowered? No, it is lowered. Definitely lowered. And it's not cutting the grass. So that is so sad. Oh, I wanted to clean up here, man. Look at this ugly stuff growing here on the farm. So that unfortunately my friends is not good news so this nasty stuff is going to keep on growing here yeah? to my frustration <laughs> but anyways let's more just carry on carry on i wonder if i can fit this thing in there am i pushing my luck yeah it's gonna go in wonderful would have actually been better to reverse in not too shabby not too shabby good man I didn't put the lights on there no. well guys farmer Bob has got some time on his hands um, the cows and everything is very happy I think what we can do so long is sort out our um, I wanted to check the animals here we go everything is perfect we are on 35 our next calf is in 30 hours what is not too bad excellent man so yeah the farm is running like a dream I've actually um, downloaded some other uh, storage facilities and things but obviously our finances at the moment uh, doesn't allow us to play around too much with um, storages I can now ever show you what I've got. Uh, a friend commented uh, on a nice download that I should have a look at and yeah I actually went and downloaded it for us 
and it is hot tools look at this it is a type of storage I don't want to buy it now it's not too much and I don't know how it works so it's a trial and error thing to see what it does but the only thing I can think is that it's got some type of a way of storing things in different levels because it looks like there's about three levels so uh, yeah I will definitely have a look at that but one one of the issues is it's small that this is the largest one of the three um, and this is what the smaller one looks like you know but I think for your smaller implements and things it will be nice like your forklifts and whatever but yeah I will definitely have a look at that later on when we've got some bugs after the harvest guys after the harvest we're gonna have plenty of money to to do some expansion and upgrades and whatever and um, yeah now that I know the roller is working I will definitely re uh, re-concrete this area here because I hate my equipment lying in the mud and in the wet uh, um, stuff you know and then obviously there is some nice um, placeables that I've got in storage shelters um, there's quite a few to choose from um, that I've downloaded there's one vehicle shelter I haven't had a look at any of these but look at this one it's nice and closed on the sides and then you can drive in from the front so this is ideal man for for an outside storage um, and then obviously I have where is the others let me have a look there was quite a few that I've downloaded here's another one. Oh, that's a pallet all sorry it's not that one this is also an interesting one guys solar object what this thing does you it's also a nice vehicle shelter it's got solar panels on it so you can get money from it first of all and it's got nice storage for small medium and large vehicles um, but like I say this one to me it's a bit too small for a lot of vehicles but on the other side you can um, you can get some money from your um, solar panels bringing in and then there's this one the vehicle shelter which is fairly nice I must say I'm not too sure of of the height of this thing if I compare it if I can um, I wonder can I tilt how do I tilt with this thing I know that's that I can't tilt but anyways if you look at the height the sides compared to that there it's a little bit lower but yeah it still it still will do the trick it will definitely do the trick for us grain storage there's some more more and yeah this one's here this is the vehicle all I'm just gonna see what size is this oh my gosh this is a nice thing guys look at this hey now that is what I call vehicle storage man we're gonna definitely have a look at this then your stuff is out of the rain out of the mud and it is nice and big I hope we can fit this in this is multi storage but that vehicle storage is ninety thousand dollars which is for the size of it not bad at all there's a machinery shelter which ah, all right for outside you know but for plows and that type of stuff you know that you don't really uh, need to have in cover but um, it is the same thing and then this thing I've actually been thinking of this thing um, you know to to actually um, use it as a shelter I don't know if it's empty when you buy it I hope it will be <laughs> but but yeah, I don't want to take a chance you know it's 90 grand but I like the look of it that arc type of thing you know very very nice don't know if you guys have seen these bales it's a round bale stack and a square bale stack very very nice thing you just place this placeable uh, where you want to stack your bales and you just drop your bales there and it stacks it automatic if you're in a nice neat heap so you don't need to do any stacking which is awesome man and it can take 300,000 liters which is wonderful so any type of stacking you want to get um, yeah you can download that mod from modland.net which is awesome always um, yeah that's basically it oh yeah it's another large vehicle shelter 94 
So you want to see how big that is. This is also a nice big one. This might be the one to go for, you know, if you... Yo, I just can't see it. Let me just get a little bit back so we can see the size of it. It's going to fit very nice if we just turn it sideways like that into into this area yeah very very nice it's going to go very nicely in there yeah it's going to be nice i think that is the one to actually go for that other one was a little bit too big for this small space but definitely so 94 grand is what we're looking for to to get uh, a nice vehicle shelter and then i've got all those little off duckies and things which um probably isn't too good oh yes and there's another thing that i got which is pretty awesome guys for the same price of a culture you can buy this wash bay which is much nicer to me uh, than the culture look at this thing for four and a half grand you can buy this wash bay and it's got a concrete floor sides and everything and your culture in it with lights overhead everything the whole tooth and um, yeah so this is obviously something to consider um, for washing your vehicles so yeah also available there at modland.net guys <laughs> excellent man all right so let us uh, look at our harvesters what are we going to do we're going to need some serious harvesters uh, but we don't have the money to do it so we're going to have to look at second hand equipment first of all the new ones is out at the moment out of reach um, but I was thinking of the Lexion, the second hand Lexion, we can buy that one, which is very, very nice uh, machine. Um, and then obviously we need a header for it. We're actually going to start with the canola. So canola header, uh, and then later on we're going to need the corn. So first of all, we'll just go for one canola header or a, a draper. And yeah, that should get us going, guys. So it's about 60 grand and we've got 90. So yeah, we might might loan a little bit of money to buy the draper. Because the drapers, we go back, what is the price of the drapers? Drapers are a bit pricey. But I'm sure there is a nice second hand one we can also um, be using. Let's just quickly have a look. Here we go, what's that? That's a, oh, that's 94 grand. Whew, that's expensive. And it's on a special. <laughs> Nine, minus five. <laughs> My word. That oak is on a big, big uh, um, joint. He's had a big joint. 95 grand. That's at 35 feet. That's too expensive. Too expensive. This is a 7.6. It's too small. Uh, 30 grand for a 9 meter this is a 9 meter what have we got here this is a Laverda 7.6 meters and we're gonna need some some bigger bigger stuff I want a big draper I want to spend money and then buy something that's small here we go here we go that's the demo this is a, a demo model and it's free, but I don't want to go for that. It's it's a nice big one, but we don't want to have something for free. We can actually make use of a free free um, demo machine. Uh, why not? But it it, it is available uh, for us um, to use. Then there is the 640FD. This is the real deal. 11.5 meters. That's more like it. More like what we want to do. More like it in size, 44 for A, 10.7, uh, where is it, very 1200, there's a second hand one, 12 meters, there you go, for 5 grand, it's a second hand one, that is not bad at all, 12 meters draper, very nice, okay, so we'll go for that too guys, we'll use a class, and it is a class draper man, and we're using the class machine. Oh, that is a bargain, guys. Right, so that is what we're going to do. As soon as our crops are ready, we will get those from our friend there at the store. But for now, I'm going to just, uh, I think, forward the day until our crops is ready. Because then 
it just makes sense guys well guys this is now the next morning and as you can see our fields are still not ready for harvest so i don't know why these things are growing so long they sure almost looks ready to me but i don't want to take a chance guys and harvest these things and then they're not ripe so we're gonna just carry on waiting because there's still a lot of time um we're only on the first day now the end of the first day of summer um so yeah it might be that we planted a day late and now it's stacking a day over or whatever so uh, yeah the only thing to do is forward some more time so i'll see you a bit later we'll see how it goes um yeah just to look at our animals if i quickly show you that um our animals are doing very well that's the next day our health now 79 percent and our next calf is going to be born in 10 hours by the looks of it <laughs> so yeah i'm going to keep on forwarding the time guys until until as such we can harvest well guys here we are now my gosh it took it took about three days of forwarding <laughs> to get to the stage where we can harvest field 19 3 and 6 the others are still growing nicely um field 5 2 and 20 is growing like crazy um yeah but we can we can start harvesting that is what what is exciting it's wheat and canola so that is now ready for harvest um okay so just first want to have a look at our animals because it's been quite a while oh my gosh you see so we're gonna quickly need to sort out our animals first all right so let me get stuck into that as I've just did, uh, done the animals, I'll just jump cut uh, after I've finished with that. Guys, that's the last of the manure out. And as you can see, it was just in time. Our our little um, cabbages and everything that is growing here was in dire need of some more manure. Or close to be running out of manure. <laughs> it was close. Oh my gosh. All right, anyway, so the next thing, obviously, is to um, get some water going. Just park this boy in there. And then, yeah, I'll be back when once I've finished watering the um, greenhouses and also the cows. And that's the last of the cows. Uh, they also need to be getting some water. So we're just filling this up and there you go we are all done guys all the work has been done wonderful man so now for the exciting part we're going to start harvesting man and then we're going to see how much are we um, actually making on that field 19 i was because that was a big gamble buying that field with all our money you know but yeah we are still going up that's the main thing we still have a loan to pay back of 75 grand so i will not be getting excited right now i'm sure the loan is 75 i don't think we've added anything to the finances yeah we still owe the bank 75 or is it 39 i'm not too sure <laughs> <laughs> but I know we've got the loan of 75 once we start paying back we will see what happens okay guys so um, the next thing to do now is to get our harvester because it is time for harvest and as we said we're gonna go for that um, second hand class this one here we'll set up standard costs nothing crawler track Eww. the crawler track is more than the machine they just buy this one yes standard wheel setup that is good standard wheels will do for us perfectly fine headers for the canola is the lexion um where is it where is it it's a 12 meter draper it is more this way i think here we go here we go here we go the 1200 there you go buy that put it on thank you very much back 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 and then we're gonna get this guy on the radio there at the shop here he is oh my word look at the draper it actually spawned inside inside of our 
um, Draper. Oh, look at that horrible signy in the back. That is so sad, man. Who would put a monster sign on a class Lexion Harvester? <laughs> I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm sure that guy is getting some, uh, what do you call it, royalties. That's probably why. Okay, so without further ado, guys, this is so exciting, man. And I must say, this harvester looks pretty good for a second-hand one, eh? Looks pretty good. It's a limited edition. Okay, excellent. Now, guys, this is our field here. Yeah. Why does this not look... It, it's canola, I'm sure. Yeah, no, it's definitely canola. I'm just confused now. Well guys, this is the end of another episode and uh, it was really fun sharing this time together. Uh, I really want to just say thank you for uh, tuning in and joining me in this venture and having all fun together in our favorite game. Um, I would love to hear from you in the comments if there's anything you want to um, say or any ideas or, or any, anything that stood out to you. I would love to hear whatever you think, you know, so yeah, it's always fun to do that, but thanks guys for tuning in, and you've been great, um, if you like the video, just give it a like, if not, thumbs down, honesty is always the best, um, uh, best recipe, <laughs> I just believe that, you know, so guys, take care man, this is Farmer Bob saying cheers, until next time, bye.